You do a lot of these interviews, do you? Nope. This first is one? First one, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, apart from, from Mr. Lando in the other room, but... Yeah, right. Yeah. And how was he? Was he... Lovely. Forth, he was Absolutely forthcoming, lovely. he answered your questions? Yep, perfectly, okay. yeah. Good, good. All right, open speed, so off we go. First of all, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to be here. It's it's an absolute pleasure to be sitting in front of you. Wow, this is great, and I and I hear that you just saw the film in a in a theater for the first time yeah. a few months ago. Yeah, a few months ago. Yeah, yeah. My, my brother found out that I hadn't seen the film, and he just was so shocked. He booked me a ticket straight away. Well, what an what an amazing opportunity, because most people your age know it from video, mm. and uh, to see it first on the big screen is is, yeah. uh, is cool. Yeah, it was very awesome. I've just got a few questions. To Go ask for you, it. Okay. Um, you've been down to the wreckage 33 times, I've heard? 33 dives o yeah. over three expeditions, yeah. What's it, what's it like down there? Does it feel kind of eerie? Does it feel like the, the souls of the people who died on the ship are there with you? It does. You know, I don't actually believe in ghosts, but you feel a sense of history wrapped around you, you know. And, and, and when I look out and I look at the, the deck, let's say, or a window, I imagine who was there. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and I've done so much research about it, I kind of know who was there. I know who was standing where when they were loading the boats, where the band was playing and so on. So I always feel kind of ghosts in my imagination, if you will, when, I, when I'm there. The Jack and Rose love story is up there with Romeo and Juliet. It's one of those <laughs> great love stories that so many people know and connect to. Where did the inspiration for that story come from? Romeo and Juliet? Oh, really? <laughs> well, no, look, I've, I've loved the sort of the great epic love stories of, of cinema, the iconic ones, you know, uh, Gone with the Wind, Dr. Zhivago. And it, it was an old style of film that wasn't being made when, when we made the movie Titanic. There wasn't anything like it. You had all the rom-coms and, you know, the they were all sort of the small dramas uh, but there was nothing on that kind of epic scale so I said we're gonna go back to an old style of filmmaking that's what I that's what I proposed to the to the studio when I pitched the film and the way I pitched the film is I came in with a with a big painting of the sinking Titanic a painting by by an artist named Ken Marshall an absolutely gorgeous painting of the ship going down with its lights blazing and the rockets firing off and I said Romeo and Juliet on this ship that was my whole pitch. <laughs> well, it sold it. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> it worked very well. So it's been 100 years since the Titanic sank and 15 years since the movie came out. And, right. and I was only five when the movie came out. Right, so right. I, kind of, make, I kind of missed the first. Thanks. Make me feel old. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I've only recently seen the film. But I'm going to show it to the generation after me and they'll right. show it to the generation after right. them. When you were making the film, did you know that you were making a classic at the time? No, I don't think you ever know you're making a classic. These things have to be figured out in the fullness of time. I, we were excited about the about the film, about the possibilities, and we set out to make a film like Gone with the Wind, like Dr. Zhivago. Those are classics, so it's not like it, it didn't occur to us at all. But you have to succeed. You know, you have to work. You have to work really hard to to actually deliver. On that, uh, on that promise, and luck is a big, a big factor. Uh, you know, I mean, we got we got two fantastic actors for our for our love story, and uh, you know, they they carry that film. Although I think it's interesting now. You talk about the next generation. You know, there'll be a certain point where, where Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio, you know, as they continue as actors, they don't look like Jack and Rose anymore. And and 10, 20 years from now, they they'll even more not look like them. So Jack and Rose will become these kind of iconic young lovers who exist outside of, of time and space. Thank you so much. That That's my last question. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you so much for meeting with me. All right, well, it was nice talking to you, Carrie.